Hello, hello. Here's another gameplay video with commentary. Um, we have a totally dark and cold and rainy day, so I thought that was perfect to uh, take some time and uh, do something fun, something that I enjoy, and hopefully you enjoy too. Uh, this gameplay is on the map WMD. Uh, some people say this stands for Weapons of Mass Destruction. Others say that it stands for Waste Management Dump. I'm not really sure which one is uh, true or if it's even something else, but uh, I don't even know if anybody cares. Anyway, at the time this game was recorded, I was at the end of uh, Second Prestige where I had the Chi 11 unlocked again. I simply love this uh, weapon as it's extremely accurate and powerful. Uh, if your accuracy is actually good, you can take out an enemy with one bullet. Uh, by the way, this weapon comes with a sniper scope attachment, but I do better with any, uh, without any scopes uh, on any weapon. Uh, just uh, use the red dot or even absolutely uh, no, no attachment at all. Um, that brings me to a subject I want to talk about, which is quick, quick scoping. This video was recorded before the patch, or you probably would find a bunch of snipers in this map, as this map is one of the preferred maps uh, for snipers. It has a lot of wide open areas, catwalks and high points, and uh, so so it speaks for itself. Quick. Coping has been a sore subject for many gamers as it's considered unfair and newbish. Um, sniping has been way too easy in Modern Warfare 2, so Treyarch fixed that for Black Ops um, to make the game make a really really balanced game. This game was very balanced until the recent patch came out. So now we see a lot more snipers and uh, mainly quick scopers. They take over matches and make people quit left and right. Um, I personally don't understand why they patched the snipers. Skilled snipers had no problems taking enemies out before the patch. And because not everyone is skilled, there was a nice balance between snipers, assault rifles and um, SMGs. They put more recoil on assault rifles and SMGs to make them more realistic. So why wouldn't they keep the sniper uh, rifles realistic. I don't really understand because in reality sniper experts have to lay flat on the ground and search for enemies through their scopes then take careful measurements before taking the shot. There's absolutely no way any sniper could take out an enemy running and shooting while barely looking through the scope. I don't even want to start talking about no scopers who all seem to use aimbots or are simply lucky. Uh, another source object is Second Chance. I don't know why they put it back into the game, as so many people hated this perk in Modern Warfare 2. I find it extremely frustrating when an enemy that has been shot to the ground can pull his weapon and kill you. Even worse is when one of your team members finishes off the guy in second stand and then gets the full credit instead of a simple assist. Oh well. And those kind of things, uh, there, I think there will always be frustrating moments in um, Call of Duty um, actually in every game because um, I've, I really enjoyed Medal of Honor and um, although they had a lot of good stuff that Call of Duty didn't have they had other things that were better in Call of Duty so you will always find frustrating things but I think we as a community have to stick together and uh, especially, you know, players that are good players or say advanced players, people that play like game a lot and have a lot of experience, they um, should really give um, a lot of constructive feedback to the game developers. And I think Treyarch is really good at listening to the community. Um, the only thing I don't understand is like, I would really love to know why. Um, they made quick scoping um, able again. I don't know if they just were hoping that they're going to have more buyers. At the end, it's all about the money, and uh, they'll 
the developers will make sure that they have as many buyers uh, as possible and um, they don't really care if the frustrated people are you know in the minority so I don't know how many people are frustrated but I heard a lot of people complain about the quick scoper so I have started to play bare bones matches again because it seems like there's way less noobs in those matches because those ma bare bones matches are much harder you don't really see where the, you don't know where the enemy is um, you have although I have a mini map enemies only appear as red dots when they shoot and if they um, move a lot it's, it's really hard to um, get them and they can sneak up on you easily and get you and you have absolutely no perks and no attachments so there's no crutches it's 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 your gun you and your skills and I find that amazing I, I, I love it it's 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 almost like playing sticks and stones because if you just have a weapon it's very raw they should definitely call that like raw matches instead of bare bones because it's it's to me um, much more satisfying than hardcore because in hardcore you still have all the perks the annoying perks and you have all the attachments so you still have um, crutches which I call you know I call them crutches because they're like little helps or actually in some cases uh, attachments or and perks are a lot of help for you to get kills that you wouldn't get if you weren't skilled uh, enough so um, this in this match it's funny we were almost the whole match were um, always behind behind and um, I noticed that I wasn't really capturing as many flags as I wanted because I'm usually I, I'm really good at um, playing the objective I love objective game plays and um, I really try to get as many flags as I can it's also fun because you get 150 points every time you get a flag and I don't know I think I got frustrated because I tried to get the uh, C flag um, over and over and got killed and then kind of got lost in just kind of paying back and getting all the enemies and completely lost track of um, focusing on and getting flags and that's not really me um, so I apologize if, if, uh, if you think it's kind of lame that I didn't uh, get more flags but as you can see here I was kind of like thinking yeah it's time to get a flag and there's still a ton of enemies just swarming around it but because we have two flags we actually should be fine if we can loot if we can hold two flags as you know uh, the, the correct way to play domination is by not capturing all three flags I mean not and funny is that most uh, people always try to capture all three flags which is not the smartest way because if you have all three flags you don't know the, the enemy will actually spawn all over and you have no idea where they're going to spawn they can spawn right behind you they can spawn anywhere so the trick about uh, playing uh, winning in domination is capturing two flags and then holding them as bad as long as possible if, if possible for the whole match and you there's no way uh, the other team can um, win and because this one flag is not taken you can be assured that the enemy team will always spawn at that flag that's not captured but that, that they're holding so it's it's pretty easy for your team to dominate so I don't know um, actually why we caught up on this game but um, I just turned off the um, the uh, names and everything here by mistake so <laughs> it looks kind of weird you can't see where so here it's back on I have happened to get a chopper gunner here at the end I was actually pretty surprised because I didn't really go for uh, for high kills or for any I, I wasn't really going for any chopper gunners or any perks I just was like oh my god I I actually got a chopper gunner and the game is almost over I better hurry up and um, um, get some kills here and this is actually the first time um, where my chopper gunner didn't get shot down which is kind of nice I finally got to enjoy the, the full ride as you can say and um, I don't know if this helped us win or if we already had the win in the pocket before I um, 
put my chopper gunner up, but uh, it definitely helps if uh, you can take out, um, if you can help taking out as many enemies as possible, the chopper gunner, and then your team has um, free range to take the lost flag, or the flag that's um, not the lost flag, but the, the second flag they don't have it. So we're, we won. I hope you enjoyed that. I sure did. Um, take care. Until next time. Bye-bye.